my name is Florence Fan. I was born in China and grew up in Taiwan and living in the United States for 61 years. The first time I saw the house, I just like uh, love in the first sight. I was born in China that time and we have the World War II. So I don't have the use time, always like a refugee. So this house is for my youth fantasy. My name is uh, William Nick Nicholson. All my friends call me Nick. I went to the Blue Mosque in Istanbul early one morning. Ceiling of the Blue Mosque is made up of some different domes. So I went to the middle and lay down on the floor. And then it becoming your whole frame of vision, you know, that's when it hit me. Just this fantastic feeling. And later I thought about it. I, Oh well, my God, we've only lived in square boxes for a couple thousand years. Hundreds of thousands of years, we were in caves or soft structures, and, and I, I couldn't stop thinking about it. As soon as I got back, I started fooling around with it and thinking, how, 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 could, how could you do, how could you bring these together? Oh, well, I, and we'll have, we'll have different shapes in them all together. To me, uh, the, the wrong ship is kind of, inclusive and is accept all the elements from the nature. This house is made by uh, night balloons. I got this idea to blow up balloons and so I got some sailcloth and had these balloons made of 24 feet high and other ones that were different sizes. There was a gunite machine where you put uh, sand and cement and things in and then it would go through the hose dry and then the water was put on at the nozzle. So putting some fiberglass in with it made a material that we shoot on and then right away let the balloon down and you have this shell. And of course, an egg shell is very, very strong. Then shot uh, foam on it for insulation and put chicken wire on it, then gunited it like a swimming pool. So it's earthquake proof too. It was built in uh, this wealthy community up there, Hillsboro, and just it was beside the freeway there. And I thought, ah, this is going to be great. Well, some of the people were just shocked. Other people loved it, but I found a few, they got inside, they got that feeling. People liked it, that was it though. There was certainly no clamor to my door. One thing I felt really good about was that it was beside that freeway and hundreds of thousands of people would see it every day and whether consciously or subconsciously, they'd realize that a living environment doesn't have to be a box. And I thought, at least I'm giving that. I didn't tell anybody about it because I was, I was ashamed because it was such a failure. You know, I mean, it was always a failure. This house is a uh, night rooms, but each one is uh, no door, but every room have their own personalities. My name is Sean Fang. Because of the pandemic, I had to move um, back to the Bay Area, and my grandma was so gracious enough to let me stay at the house. Every little aspect of the house is just so different. You know, every month or every couple of weeks, it's always changing. There's always a new addition. 
I'm really happy that my grandma was able to kind of express herself through the house. It's kind of hard to put into words. So I start thinking about how I should have decorated this. I think about Fred have a pet. The pet name is Dino. Dino is a dinosaur. Oh, I say, yeah, the dinosaur should be living here. Dinosaur, you know, what, on the head and with a little butterfly. They have conversation there. And you have a big foot and, you know, with a very elegant lady reading the book to him. I built a uh, long stairs to follow the yellow brick road. And you follow the yellow brick road, you can find the place you wish. At the backyard, I built up a smile face because so many people tell me every time I'm passing by the highway, when they saw the house, they cannot help but just smile. So I said, okay, you smile to the house and the house is smile back to you. The Fred comics, and they have a friends come from the Mars. His name is Gazoo. So that's why I'm decorating with the alien. The kitchens look like you come to a galaxy because on the ceiling is totally like a sky. Living room, they have two fish. When the other fish need air and the water, the another fish just give him. So that is just showing human beings, we should be care each other and love each other. I live in California. The most famous is the California gold mine. And you can see the fortiniers is, is the digging the gold and the waterfall with all the gold come down. Everybody said, wow, what a room. Florence Fang is so phenomenal. She was born in China. She loves the U.S. And her thing is she wants to bring China and the U.S. closer. And I want to use the Western fairy stories and to combine with Eastern philosophy. Because the Eastern philosophy, we feel why the universe can always move, never stop. Because the universe has five elements, gold, wood, water, fire, and earth. These five elements, they always compete each other. Also, complement each other, just like yin and yang. So make the whole universe going and never stop. As you come to this house, the house gives you energy, gives you hope, never give up, go forward. Meanwhile, accept everybody. She's really come up with something. You know, she hit something that I had never hit. It was fantastic. Why shouldn't living environments and homes be fun, be interesting, besides being so sterile? And this is fantastic. This is, this is even better than my <laughs> don't live in boxes. The best thing about living in this house is really being able to see how much happiness it's able to bring everybody and the joy that it's able to bring, not only like older generations, but also younger generations. Every time I go outside, I always see somebody um, and they always tell me a story of when they were a child, they used to see the house or even like, you know, kids who were seeing it for the first time because they might have seen it on Snapchat. And it's really cool to kind of see the different generations kind of gap together. I never expected to be living at a house like this. It, it's just, it really has changed my perspective on life a lot. I like the people come here to feel the harmony and the two right away to have the smile on the face. Everybody just, just there for dream.
follow your dream, the best yet to come. Follow your dream. The dreams are the things that, that you put together that make up the whole. And so if, it, uh, if it's a failure or not, at least you, you did the dream. You did it. But isn't it, isn't it amazing that the biggest failure in my life now is a landmark. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs>